With the US Open only a couple of days away, let's go look at the betting for the US Open. Who's actually the favorite going in for both the men and the women's? Also, we're going to go through some unseated players that maybe you should look out for if you are going to put a bet on the winner of the US Open. So starting on the women's side, Iga Fiontech, world number one defending champion. She's still the favorite despite not winning any of the lead-up events. Sabalenka is second favorite, and Goff comes in at third favorite, which is a little bit interesting considering her record at slams isn't as good as some of the other players around her, but she did win two out of the three warm-up events in Washington, also Cincinnati, beating Fiontech as well, that helps. So she comes in at third favorite. We're backing her at fourth favorite. And Pagula, she is the fifth favorite. So five out of the top six seeds are the favorite. Interesting that Jabur, defending finalist, is at 19, but she does have a foot problem that maybe is scaring people away. Someone to watch out for, though, is Mukova at number 10. Of course, made the final of Cincinnati, made the final of the French Open as well, and is in good form. So definitely worth keeping an eye on her, maybe if you want to go outside of the top favorites. But a player outside of the top 15 that you should keep an eye on, Svetolina. She's a plus 5,000, which is really interesting because, of course, she has had a good run at both the slams in her comeback, making the quarterfinals, semifinals of Wimbledon, beating Sviantec along the way, so definitely worth a look as well. Svetolin also has made a semifinal at the US Open, so maybe worth a look if you want to go a little bit further outside of the favorites. Jumping over the men's side, and Novak Djokovic, he's the favorite for the event, just ahead of Alcaraz, which is interesting. Had the result gone the other way in Cincinnati, maybe it would have been Alcaraz the favorite. Medvedev, of course, third favorite. He's won this tournament before, and Yannick Sinek winning in Canada definitely helped that. And the fact that he can compete against Elkaraz has beaten Elkaraz this year in a hard court. I think that definitely helps as well. And then interestingly enough, Zverev, he is now the fifth favorite going into the US Open ahead of guys like Pass, Rude, Runa, even Fritz and Tiafo. He's more of a favorite than those guys. Of course, made the final in 2020. Just played Djokovic last week in Cincinnati. So making the semifinals there, I think definitely helped. And if you want to go with players a little bit further outside, Hubi Hercatch, the best of the guys outside of the top 15, paying it plus 8,000, of course, had match points against Elkarez, pushed Djokovic at Wimbledon as well, so definitely worth a look if you want to go someone a little bit further out, but other than that, I mean, on the men's side, it's a lot more simple. There's only a couple of core guys that can win. On the women's side, we've seen unseated players and random players win the US Open and other tournaments before, but on the men's side, it's a little bit more straightforward. Let's go have a look at the unseated players worth a look outside of that top 32. On the women's side, Danielle Collins, Bianca Andreescu, Linda Fruvatova, Linda Nozkova, and also Mira on Draver, all worth a look at outside of that top 32 and some of the unseeded players that are actually pretty high up in the betting compared to some of the players that are actually seeded. On the men's side, though, there is not too much to look out for outside of the top 32. Berrettini, Murray, Team, Vavrinka, and Monfils, all familiar names, all have a lot of experience at Grand Slam level, but still not really worth a look at uh, in terms of them because, of course, it's very unlikely that an unseeded player wins the US Open on the men's side these days, and especially with guys like Djokovic and Elkaraz dominating most of the tournaments throughout the tour. Medvedev not far behind, and of course guys like Sinner who are becoming more reliable. Very hard to pick someone outside the top 32 on the men's side that's going to win, but on the women's side we do have a possibility that an unseeded player could win the US Open. It wouldn't be so random. So there you have it. They are the betting for the tournament, of course for the top 32, and also the players outside. Just the unseeded players worth a look maybe. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Who are you betting on for the US Open if you are going to bet on the US Open? Like I said, on the men's side, you know, there's only a couple of guys that you'd probably take a bet on. I mean, Zverev at the fifth favorite. That's pretty interesting, considering that he has made a final here before. Uh, would be a massive, you know, comeback for him. Made the semifinals of the French Open, so he's not, you know, he's not out of form that much. Made the semifinals last week in Cincinnati as well, but usually it's Djokovic, Elkris, Medvedev. I think one of those guys is probably the one who's going to win, right? And on the women's side, there is also worth something. I mean, you know, obviously the favorites are there, but sometimes the favorites don't win. Of course, we have seen Rodokanu two years ago coming out of nowhere from the qualies to win the event. So maybe a champion there, random champion, potentially outside of that top 10. But let me know down in the comments below who are you going to bet on for the US Open, which starts in a couple of days' time.